What's going on guys, Shader from Rockbelt Saw. Welcome to another video in our brand new series, Real Instruments in Serum. In today's video, we're gonna be recreating an acoustic guitar sound. Uh, you guys said it wouldn't be possible, but I made it possible. This is what it sounds like. So, really, really accurate sound here. If you guys like that sound, make sure you do me a favor by clicking that like button and also click that subscribe button if you're new here as well. Just by clicking that like button, it helps me tremendously. It really does. Uh, so I would really appreciate it. Um, by the way, guys, we have a banner pro banner contest. If you guys wanna check that out, um, basically, if you create a banner for our social media, you are immediately entered to win all of the packs on our site. So if you're interested in that, I'll have the link at the description. It's just gonna say banner contest and then the link so you can click that, uh, you know, upload the banner for our social media. There's all the instructions on there. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with this sound. The sound is actually super, super simple to make. Um, all right, so we're really just using quite the amount of saw waveforms here. Um, so first things first, we're gonna turn on our sub oscillator, our oscillator A and oscillator B, because um, we're gonna be using a three oscillator setup here. All right, so for our sub, we are also gonna turn on the sub, I mean, saw waveform, my bad, and we're gonna turn on the octave down one here. We'll leave the level there because we don't really need to change it right now. Um, oscillator B, we are also just going to leave right here um, as is our standard saw waveform. And that's literally it for this first kind of part here. We're gonna go into our filter now, which is going to be in the miscellaneous section and we're gonna choose our reverb filter. Now the reverb filter is gonna be used to just really smooth out everything that you hear. Um, we're gonna turn it on for oscillator B as well, but we're gonna leave the sub alone. If we turn on the sub, we start to lose um, that higher end, uh, or that treble, the grainy treble that the saw wave form produces as the reverb filter really smooths it out. So we're gonna leave it off for the sub here. And we're just gonna kinda um, change our shape down here get a nice sound maybe turn up the resonance give it a little bit more space there um, that's really what it does here in the reverb filter um, next into the effects section this is really what's going to give us that whole guitar effect essentially um, we are going to shape our envelope one first here give it some release let's think of a guitar sound for a second here when we first um, the pick is hitting the strings, which is a pluck, essentially. So we're gonna turn down um, the sustain here. Maybe turn on that decay a little bit, the time it takes. So that's pretty plucky right here. And it strums, you know, it releases. So um, depending on whether it's just a pluck or a strum, um, we're gonna turn up this release. So. Okay, so as you can hear, we're getting really close to what I had before. Um, just by moving this uh, envelope around, just kind of changing the way that the amplitude shape is shaped. Um, now we are going to go into our filter and we are actually going to cut out some frequencies here um, because it's a, a normal acoustic guitar sound isn't as flush with all this treble. Um, we do need to cut out a little bit of it here. So um, we're gonna take envelope one and we're gonna be using it to modulate the cutoff of our filter here. That sounds pretty good. Um. It kind of cuts out the sound as it goes away, um, which sounds great by the way. Uh, all right, so that brings us into our next part. We're gonna go into our flanger here. Um, simply, we're going to turn on this rate to zero hertz, so that way we are going to be able to ma manipulate um, the depth and the feed and the phase all together very easily. Um, really, all we're going to do here is turn up the depth of the way. Sounds cool there. 
Can you hear the difference? It does really change the tone of the guitar sound here. Um, I'm going to turn this to about 56. So that's really going to be our tone knob um, to adjust the tone. If you guys want to modulate that with the macro or, uh, yeah, just slap that on there. Anyways, that's going to lead us now into our reverb here. Um, where are you, reverb? Of course, we got to throw in a little bit of reverb, give us some space, like make it a little bit more realistic. And that's all it takes to make the sound, guys. If you guys like that sound, make sure you do me a favor by clicking that like button. If this tutorial was helpful, it really just helps by just giving me an idea of how many of you guys actually like this sound. So, without further ado, I am Shane from Rocket Powered Sound, and I will catch you guys in the next video.